Hey guys, it's Flighter here, and today I'm doing a mod showcase for the Hopper Plus mod. And these mods are a lot of work to make, so if you like the video, make sure you join my Discord. You can find it on my site at flighter.net. And consider subscribing, it is totally free and it helps me out a ton. Of course, you might ask yourself, why should I install this mod? What makes it so useful? Well, there's two big features that this mod adds. First of all, you can place hoppers upwards. And yes, the upwards hopper allows you to transfer items upwards without using either a dropper or a water item elevator, which are both annoying to use. And the other reason is the upgrade system this mod had. So it lets, it lets you upgrade all your hopper pluses using a set of various upgrades, including all of these, a filter upgrade, a vacuum upgrade, two tiers of speed upgrades, a stack upgrade, a void upgrade, and a lock upgrade. And they're all super useful, so I will go through each of them now. So the first question you might ask yourself is, how do you craft one of these? And the answer is that you take a hopper, and you take three gold ingots and place them just like this, and you get yourself three hopper pluses. So that I think they are a good bit cheaper than the hopper. Because the hopper is, what's always bugged me is that they're super annoying to craft, because it takes five iron per, and that's really a grind to get. So I figured by giving three of them, that would help alleviate some of that pain. So the first upgrade on our list is the vacuum upgrade. And what this upgrade does is it basically restores the functionality vanilla hoppers have where they suck nearby items. So by default, a hopper plus will not do this. But giving yourself or crafting yourself a vacuum upgrade and placing it in a hopper plus will allow your hopper to do this. And the reason it doesn't do it by default is because sometimes it'll get annoying where you'll have items floating around and you don't want them to be put into your collection system. And it's just a lot cleaner to not have that by default. So now if I drop some gold, it should go right in. There we go, and if you take the vacuum upgrade out, it won't go in. So next up on our list, we have the two speed upgrades, and if we look at the crafting recipes for these, they are right here. So first we have our tier 1 speed upgrade, just a base upgrade and 4 sugar, nothing too advanced. And for you get a 2 times boost, so it's well worth it. And secondly, let's say I take a speed 1 upgrade and surround it with 4 redstone blocks. It'll give me a tier 2 speed upgrade, which will boost my hopper by another two times for a total of four times. And actually one nifty feature you can do is if you, let's say I needed a lot of speed upgrades and I didn't want to have to manually place them all in, I could just combine my hopper plus with the upgrade in a crafting table and it'll apply it automatically. So there we go, now I have 64 hoppers with speed upgrade tier two. So let me show you the speed boost. So if we put 60 gold, this is the vanilla pace. And if we drop a speed 1 upgrade, you can see it's much faster. And we'll take it out. And put a speed 2 upgrade, and it's even faster. It transfers very fast. So the speed upgrade is useful for all your speed transferring needs in case you have massive farms that surpass the rate of what vanilla can do, or like the cobblestone generator. And we'll see you back for the next upgrade. The next upgrade on our list is the void upgrade. And here's the crafting recipe for it. Two lava buckets and a base upgrade. And what it'll let you do is delete all the items inside a hopper cleanly. So the purpose of this would be to filter out unwanted items. So let's say I had a big iron farm, and it was from killing iron golems, and all the poppies were getting on my nerves because I had to keep taking them out. What I can do is just install a void upgrade in the hopper plus, and use a filter upgrade, which we'll get to later. But now if I put all these poppies in here, there's only one because the rest are just being deleted constantly. The next upgrade on our list is the lock upgrade, and this has a more niche purpose. It's more for... If I have a build and I want to replace the hopper pluses or change their orientation or something, I want to freeze the contents of the other hopper pluses so they don't get all messed up. What I can do is just craft a lock, a lock upgrade and put it inside and those hoppers will be frozen. They won't receive or give out items. And this is super useful when you're changing your builds or setups. So let's say I'm sending these hoppers through and there we go, lock it. Now they'll all just pile up here, and I can do whatever I want with this chest in. You know nothing bad's going to happen because all the items will just gather up in this hopper since this one has a lock upgrade, it can't receive or transfer any items. And I'll see you guys with the next upgrade, which is the coolest one, the filter upgrade. So last, but definitely not least, we have the filter upgrade, and the recipe for this item is right here. And filter upgrades actually do stack, so if I wanted to craft 64 filter upgrades, I could do that, and they would stack, and then I could give them all the filter for the same item. So now, all 64 of these filters will be filtered for hopper pluses. And then, if I want to 
if I want to craft a hopper plus with the filter upgrades, now I have 64 hopper pluses with the filter upgrades that filter hopper pluses, which is super useful. So here we go. Let's say I wanted to only allow chests for some strange reason. I could just click on the chest to add it to the filter upgrade menu. And now when I close it, this filter upgrade will filter chests. So let's just dump this in a hopper plus and I'll show you that it works. So if we drop chests in here, the chests will all go through. But let's say I put cobblestone in here, it's not going through. And then what I can do is connect it, say, to a void upgrade to get rid of those excess items so it'll only store chests and delete everything else. And later on, I'll show you guys how to use this mechanic to create a simple sorting system. But first, I want to show you guys an automatic furnace, which is super easy to do and a bit cleaner than the vanilla one that you can do using Hopper. Hey guys, we are back, and we're going to show off the automatic sorting or the automatic smelter now. And one thing that's always bugged me about vanilla auto furnace is that it's so annoying that you always have to put your items in the top, and they come down the bottom. And I just prefer if I can have it all on one level, and then I could say have the ceiling here. And all you all you see are these three chests, so it looks super clean. So here, I'm gonna put some coal in the fuel chest, and let's verify it is all going in. And let me put some pork in. Shoot, that's not what I meant to do. We're gonna put some pork in the input chest, and now the filter should light up in a second. There we go. And as soon as it finishes smelting the first item, it should go into the hopper plus and straight out to the output chest, which is very clean. And there we go. The first grilled pork chop is out. So now I could just let this be, and in my base I'd have the ceiling here so you wouldn't be able to see any of this, or maybe just a wall. It doesn't even matter, it's very clean. You could also have this going downwards and then put these on the floor. That might look a bit better. But the idea is there, you can just easily smelt items in a compact area. And I'll be back to show you guys the sorting system. Hey guys, we are back, and here is a simple sorter. And unfortunately, it is a little buggy right now, so I will play with the mod's code a little bit to fix it, but the concept is to use blacklist filters to prevent certain items from going to the next hopper sideways, so they're forced to go down into the chest. So if we look here, I have an iron ingot, and, it has, and the filter has a blacklist mode, so because the iron ingot can't go far anymore left, it has to go down, and it ends up in this chest here. And then it's the same thing with the gold. It has a blacklist filter, so it can't go right anymore, so it has to go down and it ends up in this chest. So let me drop the iron and gold in here, and we'll give it a minute, and we'll see that that's exactly what happens. And what you could do, because what happens is sometimes if you put items that are supposed to end up in the miscellaneous chest, they'll end up in one of these chests. You can always reinforce it by adding whitelist filters to each of these chests to force them to go only specific items to go into the chest. But hopefully in the future that'll be fixed so you won't have to worry about that, and we can see that it works. All the gold ended up in here, and all the iron ended up in here. Alright guys, and these mods are very hard to make, so if you want to support me, you can find my Discord in my website in the description, flytre.net, very easy to type and remember, I hope. And you can also download the mod over on CurseForge. And thanks for watching, guys.